stomach aches all the time. I was always hungry. I can't recommend this to anybody. <laughs> Fucking suck. <laughs> no. Dude, that's disgusting. If you're gonna eat something where the ingredients are just a complete mystery, might as well stick to fast food. It's yeah. At least yeah. don't don't lie to yourself as to what you're eating. Mysteries are kind of fun, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. was that the end? Of, if that's the end of the soylent <laughs> topic, I have an absolute fucking banger of something I learned today. Please. Mm -hmm. So we we love to talk about cults here. But have any of you ever heard of the Family International? Yeah, of course. No. Wait, really? <laughs> Andrew's a part are of they it. Yeah. are they the ones who do SOS? Uh, I am. I only just learned about them. They used to be Church of God. Uh, Let me they see. used to be the Family. They used or to be is family that? Of... Or is that the one where they uh, the guy went crazy and like cut people's arms off and shit? No, this is a sex cult. Oh, I might well, be so mixing up my cults. Those two, are, those two things aren't mutually exclusive. Most sex cults also uh, have a bit of violence in them. Yeah, well, that's... So, it got posted on Reddit today. Mm. Uh, there's a guy named Ricky Rodriguez, who was a, uh, a victim of child molestation in the cult, the, the Family International. And he posted a video back in 2005 where he was talking about his experience, and then he also planned on murdering his abusers and killing himself. And he Based. did. He Yeah, he murdered one of the abusers, I think her name was Angela, and then he shot himself in his car. But he exposed a lot of the cult's wrongdoings to the public eye. So I looked into them a little bit. They're, they're still around, and they're still somewhat popular. They're called the Family International now. They've had to rebrand after all this, but <laughs> apparently uh, they have manuals that they pass around there that try and convince the members that child molestation is healthy, positive, and a natural process, and their belief is that it's a Christian cult, and their belief uh, is... Charlie, I have to interrupt you. This, Yeah, this is the same cult. This is the cult I talked about on, like, episode two of our podcast. Really? It's the same yeah. one? They're the guys who make all the fan all the uh, music videos where it's like, don't go to the supermarket because it will steal your soul, and uh, Jesus yeah, yeah, is yeah, coming yeah. Oh. and he'll fly on the cross. Yeah, it's the well, same that, cult. That's not. I, I didn't see anything about them cutting arms off. <laughs> that, no, that, that, I, that, that I got so confused because I thought it was a different cult. That's a different cult where they lived in the mountains and like if we, they disobeyed the leader, he'd like cut their limbs off. But this this is the cult where they put out a whole music video on VHS. Yeah. And yeah, it was, you, yeah, yeah. you were talking about that one. It was Jenny Goes to the Supermarket. Yeah, Kathy right? Don't Go to the Supermarket. Yeah, that I used one, to yeah. use that song as the intro to my stream for like four years. I didn't know that was from this, though. Yeah, that's the same cult. The, the Family International is like a rebrand. They used to be like the Church of Christ or Church of God or something like that. Yeah, I just, they uh, so I just went to their website, thefamilyinternational.org, and they have a list for our music. And they say, we host free sampling of our music on New Beat. And I was like, ah, New Beat, that sounds familiar. And I went to the song list. And yeah, it's all the music that I used to pick uh -huh. off and talk about. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's super interesting, though. Did you know about, like, all the child molestation stuff? So, like, oh, their yeah. core belief is Jesus is love and love is sex. Thus, we have to always have sex. And they believe that age is a number that holds them back from having more sex. So they preach to all their members, like, orgies, no matter the age and, and all that. It's it's so fucked up. Oh, yeah. I, I knew about this all horrible shit, but it's also been about, like, five years since I really dug into it. But mm. they're, they're fucking terrible, terrible, oh, yeah, terrible no, people. But I do like awful. their music. It's extremely catchy. I'm not going to lie. I can't say I'm super familiar with their music. <laughs> oh, they have bangers such as He's Coming Soon, which I guess it has a different context now that you just mentioned that. Uh, Kathy, don't go to the supermarket. Oh, Charlie made a monkey out of you. That's a classic. It's it's about you, Charlie. Oh, wow. That's kind of yeah. interesting. It, well, no, it's actually about how evolution is a lie and Charles Darwin was like a fraud. You know, mm. Charlie, did Charlie make a monkey out of you? Do you think you should be living in a zoo? Like, oh, that's clever. Yeah. yeah, they're clever. They're clever people. <laughs> yeah, I, they, they have the same effect on me as North Korea. Like, I, I don't support them in any way, and they are terrible, but they make some catchy music. I'm not going to lie. Some catchy <laughs> what, is, stuff. what is North Korea's stance on diddling kids? Are they pro or anti diddling kids? Probably I anti. I don't know if they've ever made a grand statement about it, but I don't think they support it. I don't Maybe they'll have a press conference. After cool much club. deliberation, we've decided that we're against diddling kids. 
Well, um, they would definitely fight Family International because North Korea has a very strict no religion policy. I think they would be... Well, how about this? What is South Korea's stance on kid fucking? And I'm sure North <laughs> Korea's is just the opposite of that, out of spite. Oh, shit. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what a loophole. Oh, just man. Yeah, yeah, Charlie, Family International is a great rabbit hole where... Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah, you should, uh, on your stream at some point, the whole VHS is on YouTube. It's like 20 minutes long. Watch uh, SOS. It's a VHS they used to hand out in the, like, 90s. And it, it's a propaganda music video that I talked about on like the first or second episode of this podcast, where it's just a bunch of music videos talking about how like Jesus is coming, Darwin was a liar about evolution, uh, supermarket barcodes linked to the devil, all sorts of wacky like conspiracy <laughs> shit. But they made full blown budgeted music videos with dance choreography and everything to talk about them. That's so fun. wild. Yeah, yeah, this this cult is fucking crazy. Oh yeah, Who made it. They're Who's nasty the owner stuff. Of the cult? Most his cults have like a head figure. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's. I'm pretty sure he's dead now, but his name was David Berg. So the and whole now they're thing, led by Karen Zerby. So the whole thing with them as well <laughs> is that names? they. <laughs> oh yeah, <they're>... Zerby. <laughs> yeah, Karen Zerby. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole thing with them as well is that they want to try to reach the largest audience they possibly can. So they dub everything they do in like 15 different languages. Like, you'll mm. find a little program where it's, like, in English and also Spanish and Italian and French and Japanese and Korean and Chinese, etc. So you can find the SOS VHS where they do their music videos and all of their songs are redubbed in different languages. You can find the fucking Japanese anime opening style version of that supermarket song. song. And instead Look, of it, instead of it being Kathy, don't go to the supermarket, it's Yoko, don't go to the supermarket. <laughs> Andrew, they may be pedophiles, but they're not racist okay all that's colors true. are welcome that's true they're they're inclusive in their sex crimes yeah and they're they inclusive all... of genders too <laughs> they, they, they put a woman in charge of the cult afterwards that's equal that's true or whatever yeah i that's think you're giving cool. them a bad rap charlie they sound like they're doing a lot yeah just because they're doing a little kitty fucking i mean who doesn't these days everyone who fucks kids is like we're verified on twitter yeah. it's a netflix show. yeah and that's the first thing i did by the way when, when you start talking about uh their child fucking policies I, I looked them up on Twitter to see if they had an account and they do <laughs> oh, also, they do yeah, no, they, also I, scared I, the, uh, they also scared the shit out of me for a second here if you go to their website and you find that music page and it's like we have free samples of our music on New Beat they also have New Beat hosts a number of music videos produced by our members on its YouTube channel and when I clicked the link for their YouTube channel it brought me to my channel and I got really, oh. really scared. It turns out the link's broken and it just brings you to your own channel. But I thought for a second there, they were using uh -huh. me to promote some terrible <laughs> shit. Imagine. I know. It would have been you were so lucky. I looked up Karen oh. Zerby's uh, Wikipedia page and she's listed as an American cleric. What the fuck is that? What does that mean? I thought a cleric was like a Dungeons You don't have clerics Dragons in Australia? Thing. What the fuck? What is it? It's like a paladin, just a different class. Yeah, that is what clerics are. Oh my god. <laughs> she, she's just roleplaying. Oh, her other names go... She goes by Mama Maria and Queen Maria. She is... This is just a giant D&D &D sesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Our show has finally come full circle. It took oh. us th 300 episodes to get back to this topic. Well, this is exciting. Yeah, well, that is kind of wild. This and the Jesus. So Ricky Rodriguez was the guy I was talking about earlier, the one that uh, finally murdered one of the abusers but killed himself as well. That was Zerby's son. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that. Did he murder Zerby? No. So he wanted to, though, if I remember correctly, like he wanted to, uh, like avenge him and his sister or something like that. But only he settled with just Angela. Also, David Berg was his stepfather. Holy shit. This goes deep. Yeah, that is deep. And also the the book that I mentioned briefly, it was called The Story of Davidito. And it's an example. <laughs> it was given to all the other members on how to raise children and encouraged uh, child sexual abuse. Cool. Where yep. are they based out of? Um, They're international, so they've got headquarters. They are so super international now. Yeah, they have a huge following in Japan and Korea. I know that. They're, so they're based. Oh wait, hold on. This is this is old. 
Uh, it was New Jersey, but let me see. Uh, California, Huntington Beach. Wow. So why why haven't the cops like raided them for like? I don't know. Like they're designated. Talking. They're officially designated as a cult. I never really understand why they don't bust these things when they have very clear evidence as well as like a formal decree of them being a cult, and they just let it persist and grow. Well, plus one of them murdered another one for child fucking. Like anger yeah. about that, so that should be yeah. You went a little far, that, like, yeah. Hey, <laughs> that should be like incentive to go investigate. I would think. Yeah, they even got interviewed by Anderson Cooper back in the day. Damn, Charlie, another uh, classic. If you're going down the cult rabbit hole again, uh, have you seen the Happy Science anime? Yes, that's the. Uh, yeah. They have they have three of them, don't they? I they, they have like multiple. six. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I, I've tried watching one of them. It's extraordinarily boring, but I love yes. the idea that the occult was making. Anime. So they're very boring, but like in concept as a whole, they're very entertaining. Just this guy's ego trip to be like, "Look, mm -hmm. my cult is legit. It's a real religion," and he just like steals. Like he makes like a greatest hits album of all the world's other religions, where he's like, "And then I hung out with Buddha, and then I was friends with Jesus, and then I met like Leonardo da Vinci, and he made me a flying machine." and then I was a pharaoh in ancient Egypt and like that's the whole story he just talks about all this cool shit he did when he was reincarnated yeah. it's so funny it's so goofy I just wish the <laughs> anime was you know a little more action packed yeah he also copyrights the shit out of it like if people upload videos about it or talk about it he just cracks down on them like a motherfucker oh what a prick I know it's like he doesn't want his message spread or something Oh, well. Cults yeah, are fun. Was, yeah, that was my topic. I found that to be extremely interesting that they're still super popular today. The Family International, that is. What so now, in another, now in another 300 episodes, Kaya's going to be like, guys, I found this cult, and you'll never <laughs> believe what they did. <laughs> no, I, I think by that time, we're all going to be so jaded and used to it. Like, kid fucking? <laughs> what do you mean cult? <laughs> You're against uh. that? You must be in a cult. What do you mean they're getting popular? Are they like saying recruitment numbers go up? Or? Yeah, well, I, I don't know about the recruit. They don't publish those those numbers or anything <laughs> in, in like, census, a, like a census. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they they are growing. I know that much. They still have a lot of members and a lot of support. Not really in the states anymore. I don't see a whole lot of it here. Well, yeah, but internationally, it's big in like Japan and South yeah. Korea. Internationally, they have a lot of members. It seems. I mean, I don't get it. I, I, or sorry, I don't. Yeah, well, okay, Re reset. I am not surprised by that to some degree, because also they have hundreds of songs. And if you like listen to any of these, a lot of them are just generic worship songs, like literally like, oh, Jesus, I love you or God is going to bless me and my family. And it's like you could pick these up on the street or somewhere and think, hey, this sounds like a great church, a great organization. Like when they got so, this much music? Oh, yeah. Is the secret to indoctrination uh, just putting out songs or other uh, entertainment mediums? It's just the... preying on vulnerable people. Yeah. One, of the, one of their big recruitment methods was just finding homeless people. It's providing wow. for people who don't have anything and filling mm -hmm. the gaps in their lives with them. So you'll find like homeless people, good example, or other people who are... I don't know, kids who run away from home or people who are like addicted to drugs or alcohol or, you know, people who are vulnerable. And you go like, hey, man, we we love song. you. We're we're sorry that's happening to you. Do you need food? Do you need a place to stay for the night? Come with us. Stay. We have a house yeah, down the street. But you don't have to like uh, play play a homeless man a song or anything. You just have to promise him food. So what's the song? Got yeah. To do with it? Well, well so, it's just a little entertainment. Fun. Well, no, imagine you're a naive, like, 40-year-old dude out in the suburbs, and you're you're a Christian man. You go to church every Sunday, you're kids, you believe in God, you thank God, you have a prayer or two, and then imagine you're just combing the internet, or, I don't know, you find one of their... In the 90s, they gave out VHSs for free. So maybe you're walking on the street, someone gives you a free CD, or you're listening to, like, some Christian radio, and someone plays that song, and you're like, oh, that sounds great, I want more of this music. So maybe you go to their church, maybe you contact one of their members... And then they're like, hey, why don't you join us for worship? And then over time, they're like, oh, you've been so committed to our church. Why don't you move our family here for the weekend? 
and then the weekend turns into the month and then the month etc there's a million ways to do it but the whole point is they slowly worm their way in you know no one joins a cult because someone walks up and goes join my cult it's not you know I they, think they find one a person has well okay maybe one or two people jackson yes but for yeah, most, that's the majority yeah for most people they find a little entrance they find a weakness or a vulnerability and they over time start filling all of it with the cult until your whole life becomes the cult true that's how it works. but there are also just so many fucking stupid people i don't know who was the yeah. but there was a camera crew that went to film a documentary about the westboro baptist church and one of the cameramen during shoot just converted and joined them. It's like, how fucking dumb <laughs> oh, are no. you? Uh, you literally went there with the intention to make fun of them. Like, uh, low-hanging fruits, easy pickings documentary. Like, hey, look at these goofballs, har har. And you joined them? How does that happen? <laughs> those, are the, those are the guys who go to funerals, funerals yeah, yeah and yeah. post really offensive signs and like soldier funerals they pulled up signs that are like god loves dead soldiers and shit like that they were big in the early 2010s yeah. so yes. the oh, also exists. charlie also charlie someone in our chat just reminded me of this fact something fascinating i found out on uh, a lot of the music for Family International, I can't find the details, or at least I couldn't, on how it happened, but the guitarist was the guitarist of Fleetwood Mac. No, wait, what? Yeah. So, so the guy who recorded a lot of their guitar tracks for a lot of their music was the guy from Fleetwood Mac, their guitarist. That's actually kind of nuts. <laughs> Isn't that fucking weird? <laughs> Family Lindsay International's Buckingham? weird. No, I think it was the other... God, was it oh, Fleetwood Mac? I, 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 it's Fleetwood Mac, and I can tell you exactly who it is just by looking at like their face. <laughs> it's, no, John, all, it's John. It's John McLean, isn't it? It very all, well might be. Yeah, all of John, Fleetwood Mac look like cultists to me. No, John <laughs> McVie looks like an actual fucking cultist. <laughs> so it is uh, a member. Yeah, it's Jeremy Spent. It's on Jeremy Spencer's Wikipedia page. Who oh, is <laughs> Jeremy Spencer? Yeah, this guy. Damn it. Sorry, yeah, John. He, uh, okay, so Jer yeah, it's Jeremy Spencer. I found the page. He was oh, on lucky. some albums for Fleetwood Mac. He's a guitarist. He played with them in the 60s. Yeah. And he went on to do work for Family International and record guitar parts for them. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That is weird. It's even weirder yeah. that it wasn't John McVie. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, oh, just looks like he John McVie. They all like cult cultists, Charlie. They You're all so insane. mean. Yeah. I don't know. It must have just been a bad picture. I, I don't know. It, it just really struck me as like a cultist. Imagine just hearing this like, oh, yeah, you struck me as a child raping cultist. It's just something in your face. <laughs> just I, wasn't, your hey, I wasn't even saying anything about the child molestation parts. There's a good chance Jeremy Spencer had no idea. God, apparently Jeremy Spencer to this day is still affiliated. Oh, that means good. he could still be making them music. Holy shit. And molesting. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I, think, <laughs> I think by this point the jury's out. Like everyone kind of knows now. So yeah, that's, hey. that's pretty bad for Jeremy. Yeah, not a good look, Jeremy. <laughs> you you went from Fleetwood Mac to fucking this. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh boy. Can we talk have about this? Any, have they won any? Uh, What's the Emmys for music? Grammys. Grammys. Yeah. Are there were any Grammys for the music? Uh, I doubt it. I don't <laughs> think the Academy would vote on a cult's music. <laughs> it would be incredible if they did, though. Oh, I, it, de it deserves it. There's it's some Hollywood. genuine Hollywood's bangers a cult there. in of itself. They should be, they should be uh, in solidarity <laughs> with their fellow cult. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, there's, there's a lot... I think I think you can make a good video out of it, Charlie. There's a lot of deep diving stuff on Family International, or maybe I should cover it. Either way, uh, yeah. I mean, you're welcome to. That might be a little much for me. That's kind of mm. heavy. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty it's, heavy. It's just a really great topic. You can Andrew's you can balance it out. You know, you take the Andrew's... horrible tragedy and then play their cool happy pop music onto it. <laughs> I can see the Westboro Church uh, <laughs> thing repeating itself, and Andrew gets converted as well. In, <laughs> yeah, in, in this video. imagine like a. Hey, <laughs> Episode 305, Andrew comes back, he's like, so we were wrong about the family and It's fucking fantastic. You guys yeah, have to think great. about it. H really is just a number. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, first, the first half of the video, I'm calling them out, and then the second half after I visit the compound, I'm like, guys, I was wrong. Everything.